In our continuing back to school coverage now, it is the perfect time to check in on one of our favorite nonprofits talking about the Backpack Lady Project. ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly is in Dunedin, where a loving son is continuing to honor his mother in a big way. She was de definitely colorful, yes. Yeah, she used a lot of profanity. Old school Italian, from, lived, grew up in Philadelphia, South Philly. Rob Dietro is remembering his mom, Phyllis from Philly, a.k.a. the Backpack Lady. 2011, she lost her battle with emphysema and MS, and I uh, wanted to do something special for her, and I found out that she dropped off two backpacks every year to Our Lady of Lourdes anonymously. She would just walk in and say, here, these are for the kids, and walk out. Ten years later, Rob's mom and his nonprofit, the Backpack Lady Project, have taken on epic proportions. We are, I calculated a couple months ago, we're over 10,000 backpacks. Every year, the town of Dunedin and good chunks of Tampa Bay donate backpacks and school supplies in honor of Phyllis. Rob then delivers all the goods to every single elementary school in Pinellas County. I get phone calls all throughout school year. Hey, we need two backpacks. We need 10 backpacks. This boy's lost his backpack. Dunedin Mayor Julie ward Bajowski says this is her town at its best. I think it's a real good reflection on the community of Dunedin and who Dunedin is. This week, Rob hosted a backpack party at Dunedin's Hog Island Fish Camp. He's been partnering with another great Dunedin nonprofit, Jeanette Donahue's Random Acts of Flowers. They would love a boost in donations. Phyllis is certainly looking down proudly on her son, although she probably wishes we'd all stop gushing about her. Yeah. She'd be proud, but she'd be like, will you knock it off already? It's enough. Stop. In Dunedin, I'm Sean Daly, ABC Action News.